do cowabunga! Alright, let's do it! Woohoo! Alright, let's go! Woohoo! Surf's up! Alright! Sure, there's a beach around here. Oh, totally. I think it's just over that hill. I don't know. We've been walking for eight days, dude. Oh, hey, there's a palm tree up there. I think I'll climb it and see if I can see the waves. What evs? <sighs> don't climb the tree, bro. You'll get worked. It's too high. Oh, gnarly. How tall do you think it is? I don't know. Let's measure it. Oh, I left the tape measure I wanted the Bondi Invitational back in the van. Ah, uh, no worries. I think we got everything we need to measure the height of this tree right here. What do you mean? How long is that Grom board of yours? Easy. A meter and a half. You see its shadow? Yeah. And you see the palm tree's shadow? Totally. So like I said, we have everything we need to measure the height of this palm tree. What? Alright, ready to ride? If we can measure the shadows of the tree and the board at about the same time, we can find that they have a proportional relationship with the objects that cast them. In other words, the length of the board, which we know is 1.5 meters, to its shadow, is proportional to the tree to its shadow. Now we just fill in the blanks. His crummy board's length is 1.5 meters, and its shadow was three boards long, or 4.5 meters. Down here we know the tree shadow is 30 boards long, or 45 meters. Up here we don't know the tree height, so we can put in an X in the center squared! Oh, can it, poser? Okay, we'll use an X. Now we just solve the proportion. X equals 15 meters. Huh, that's like 200 feet for you Americans. Uh, it's more like 50, dude. Whatever. I'm going for a coconut. Suit yourself, dude. Come back later and we'll calculate how long it takes a surfer to fall 15 meters. Whoa! Ow. Or how soon, actually. <laughs> <laughs> 